Hi Pisces and welcome to my channel. So this is a mid-July 2021 reading for those of you with someone on your mind. So you could be soulmates or twin flames, you know, a soul connection. You may or may not be in communication with them right now and you're wondering what's going on. So we're going to look at your energy and your person's energy. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Remember it's general. So I'm excited to use my new Heaven and Earth tarot today. Okay, so we'll start with your energy, Pisces. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit of fear from some of you in your energy. Um, so there is a change happening for some of you. A lot of you have really been reflecting a lot recently and just focusing on yourself. Working on yourself, you know, things that are coming up for you purging, you're trying to move on from uh, like challenging thoughts and behaviours um, and also like being stuck on this person, you're trying to sort of set yourself free with these birds here. Some of you have completed a chapter in your life recently, or again, um, if this isn't a job, I'm getting a few things. Some of you are moving on from a job, some of you a relationship, and some of you it's just these constant thoughts being stuck, you know, in the past. I feel that's coming to an end with the world. And you've got the magician as well. So you're manifesting a new beginning for some of you, definitely. And it's a positive new beginning, I feel. A lot of you have thought about this for a long time. You're making a decision. For some of you, this could be moving. I also feel some of you, you're doing this, but you're still holding a space for your person, which is positive. So focused more on yourself right now. Yeah, really good. Okay, so we've got Gemini, Virgo, Capricorn, a lot of Virgo, actually. So let's have a look at your person's energy.
Okay, so this person's quite burdened right now. They're also moving on. Quite interesting, the mirroring, because you had the Six of Swords as well. They're moving on from a situation that was quite heavy. Yeah, they were really um, up and down in their emotions, I feel. But they're sort of coming into their own with the Emperor here, <clears throat> knowing what they want. Okay, this person has a blocked throat chakra. They struggle to communicate effectively. See, they've been bottling it all up. And for some of them, they do just like run away from their situation I'm, I'm getting here. It's too heavy. Um, they could have their own business. They're doing quite well in their job. Aries energy. I do feel you could be Twin Flames because we've got the Four of Wands as well. So I feel this person is starting to think about you more. They've been taming their ego. Quite a lot of ego coming out in this person's energy. They were very focused on themselves in the past. And as you're, you see, as you're detaching, which is really positive, um, you're starting to come into their mind more. And I'm also feeling here, you're very um, powerful, Pisces, with this manifestation, the magician. Now, twin flames are master manifestors, you know. You're putting out there what you want, and this person is feeling it, and they start to feel they want to see you, the Three of Cups here. They feel happy when they think about you. They see it as a missed opportunity, though. This is what holds them back. The ending they had with you, they might have just bolted not giving you an explanation. So this person really reflects a lot, dives deep, some emotions come up for them. And this person's definitely starting again in their life, something new. So there's mirroring. You see, you're starting a new chapter, so is this person. Aries and Leo energy. Okay, let's clarify this Three of Cups. Yeah, as I was feeling, this person's energy is back and forth. They think about reaching out and then they just think, well, I can't, you know, because of what I did. They probably won't accept my communication, you know, it's a missed opportunity. And then they just focus on their work and their own sort of home, their stability, you know. Let's see about these emotions. Yeah, you see, they're reflecting on what happened with you in the past. They feel that you're angry, Pisces. I feel that they just, as I said, they left your life with no explanation. You can see that here. They turned their back. And you may have been angry. You may still feel angry. They may feel that energetically. I feel there's an age gap between you both. Quite a big, big age gap for some of you. They might have betrayed you as well. So, yeah, you were quite hurt by that. You 
Wow. So this person thinks about coming towards you. They may actually reach out. They feel very anxious about doing this, but it's amazing this Ten of Wands came out up here on your card. Same card we had here. But on this card we've got the Reef. So they want to lay down those burdens. They want to express these emotions. They're bottled up to you. And that's why some of you are going to need to go within and really think about this. I feel you're going to feel quite conflicted in terms of whether you want this. Okay, Pisces, let's take some cards on your potential outcome. I'm feeling quite a reluctant energy from a lot of you here, to be honest. Okay, wow. Interesting. It's like a story, really, what we're getting here. Um, four to the five of pentacles. So this is the reluctance I was feeling. A lot of you are just going to keep a lot to yourself. You're not going to open up because you're scared that this person's going to just leave you again. Um, I feel they ghosted you and some of you may feel like doing that. You might really not want this. Because we've got justice reversed. Okay, showing that some of you don't see this working out. Um, there's a, a quite a negative energy to be honest, coming through here. Yeah, again, there's like that. You don't see clearly. You don't see what this person wants. Um, a cold energy. Yeah, I'm really getting a very cold energy here. Okay, but this person persists um, with these cards. Quite beautiful, really. Um, a dreamy, romantic energy. Okay, they're going to... They may come more than once to you. Um, and apologise as well with the Princess of Cups. Quite a sin sincere offer, I feel here. And I also feel they're going to express their emotions because, look, he's coming out of the water. So he's, he or she, you know, has had these emotions coming up, as we said. And then he wants to share them, as we got here. And put things right. And this is beautiful with the lovers, the last card. You know, you're both being guided back together. If you're spiritually aligned, then this could work. Okay, the two trees showing the spiritual growth you've both been through. And then you're ready for this union. The universe decides when. But a decision here. 
So it's the ball's in your court, Pisces, because I'm really feeling this reluctance here. And then this person thinks, I really want this. I want to make a go of it. I'm just going to go for it and say how I feel. You know, there is a lot of emotion and affect, affection between you both, but then, yeah, it's your choice. So we've got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Gemini. Okay, let's take a few angels and ancestors. Yeah, this is what I was saying before, isn't it, about hold the space. Some of you are doing that. You're working on yourself, focusing more on yourself, but still holding the space for this person, if you want it, that is. And it's amazing, the light here. It's like your light shines the way for this person. And this reminds me of the hermit as well, finding that answer within. A lot of you know the answer within. So embrace the energy of peace, yes, because it seems there are going to be some emotions, uncertainty, some of you feel about this person, but it could be very successful with the sun, enjoy success and happiness, beautiful. So for some of you, this could be over the summer when this happens. Um, doesn't have to be. I'm getting, yeah, if it's not this year, it could be next year for some of you, okay? Um, take what resonates there. Because um, obviously you're all on different paths. Let's take a Whispers of Love. Okay, so we got ask for help, first of all, but choose wisely, Pisces, okay? Um, I feel this is more your spiritual team, angels, ancestors, guides, you know, ask for signs. Careful who you share this with in the 3D world, okay? Because some people won't understand what this is all about. Have patience. Yeah, so as I said, for some of you, this may take a while. You know, even up to a year. Um, because there are, you know, things for some of you that still need to be healed within and for this person. Obstacles to overcome with the mountains. But number 17, star card. Have hope, this is destined. Believe that the only thing is real is love. Um, shift your focus back to love. Yeah, stay in that high vibration. And that's what you attract to you. Okay, because here's the connection. Again, you're being divinely guided together. The dove for peace, yeah. Stay in that energy of peace within if you can try and meditate this is beautiful true love so again you see some of you know this in your soul about this connection there's something about it you can't let go it's very magical we've got the stag here the divine masculine who steps up returns at the right time uh, yeah, I'm seeing winter for some of you, when things could pick up, and for some of you, summer. So take what resonates there. Some of you may be receiving messages through music, 
Always watch out for the lyrics because that can be messages to you from your person. Okay, let's take um, a charm. So we've got the crown. Okay, so I'm seeing with this the crown chakra. Um, really tapping in to your spiritual gifts with source, looking out for signs. Um, so that ask for help, yeah, links with that, doesn't it? Ask for help, you shall receive. Okay, so opening up the crown chakra. You might want to try some meditation to help you to do that. I'm also seeing with the crown, um, feeling like a queen or king, you know? Um, being in that high vibration, knowing your worth and knowing that's all you'll accept. That's why some of you are going to be reluctant because you now, now know what you'll accept. And anything less, I feel a lot of you won't accept that, which is good, you know? You know what you deserve. But yeah, they're telling me to put it on this card because I'm seeing this being equal this time. Okay, beautiful. Let's take a few letters as well. So we might get initials, maybe some words. So we've got W, A, J, M, P, X, E, G, R, Q, L, K, and another E. Okay, so you might see some initials there that are relevant. Um, I'm seeing Max, the name Max. Max. Okay, map, wow. So you could be at a distance from this person. Even like different countries for some of you. I'm also feeling different cultures for some of you. Uh, we've got the name Mark coming through. Also, you made your mark. This person can't forget you. Feeling there. Uh, we've got Mel, the name Mel. Peel, wow, yeah, we've got the word peel. And I'm, from that, getting, peeling back the layers, the mask. This person, you know, they, they gradually start to open up. War, wow, yeah, this this is what some of you might feel within. Um, as I said, this reluctance, I was feeling it like a war within you, tug of war, you know. Also got meal, yeah, they might ask you out to dinner. Okay, and you might you know, open up in that way, first of all, to break the ice. Okay, Pisces, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Um, please do comment if it resonates. Sending peace, love and light to you on your journey. And I'll see you soon.